Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the Theorem rules in Inventory module of Odoo 60. In Odoo, you can configure a set of rules that make sure your stock never runs out. Odoo will try to maintain a minimum quantity of product in your inventory in order to maintain the stock. This is done using the reordering rules. The reordering rules and replenishment have a connection. Let's move forward to the module and see how the reordering rules has been triggered. Let's open the inventory module and see how the reordering rules works. For that, first go to the inventory module. Okay, now let's go to the products here. And I'm opening the products menu. Okay, so here you have a lot of products. You can either create a new product or, uh, you know, perform this on an existing product. So here we have a product called the insulin. So I'm opening it. Okay, so you have to make sure that this product has a vendor. Okay, so I'm going to the purchase tab. And here, let me set a vendor for this product. So I'm setting the vendor as Deco. And also let's provide a price for this product. So I'm setting the price as 10. Okay, now we have the inventory tab here. So under the inventory, you have to enable the route, which is buy. Okay, so that is enabled. Now, here on the top, you know, top bar of the product card, you can see the on-hand quantity, which is zero. And here you have the reordering rules. So I'm going to click on the smart tab, which is reordering rules. So open that. And here I'm going to create a reordering rule for the product insulin. So let's click on create. As you can see, the product has come, the location, the on-hand, the forecast, the vendor and all have come. So we have to set the minimum quantity for this product. So I'm setting the minimum to 100 and the maximum quantity I'm setting it to 400. Okay, so as you can see here, to order is 400. Okay, so currently the on-hand quantity is zero and we are going to order and keep it to a maximum quantity, which is 400. So we don't have any forecast for this product. Okay, if you just scroll down here, if you click on this icon, you can add up fields here. So I'm adding multiple quantity. Okay, so multiple quantity is the lowest number of items that can be purchased at once. Okay, so that is in case of items that can be purchased only as a set. Okay, in such cases, we have to set the multiple quantity. So I'm opening the multiple quantity, then I'm opening the, I mean, uh, choosing the trigger. Okay, let's close it. Now here you have the multiple quantity. I'm setting the multiple quantity to three. Okay, so that's three here. And then you have the trigger. You can you have two methods that is it, it will trigger automatically or manually. So here I'm setting it to auto and here is the preferred route. So I'm setting the route to buy. And if you just click on the vendor, you will see deco edit because this is the only vendor which we have set for the product insulin. So I'm keeping it as such, saving it. Okay, now let's go back. Okay, now let's go back to the purchase module and create an RFQ. Okay, now before going to the purchase module, we have something to do. Okay, so inside the inventory, we've set what all the, you know, maximum quantity, minimum quantity, multiple quantity and all. Now let's open the product here and I'll show the reordering rule. So this is the rule which we've set right now. Now if you go to the operations tab there, you have the replenishment and you have the run scheduler. So these two things are also a part of the thing which we are going to do. Okay. So I'll open the re replenishment first. Okay, so this is actually manual. So we are going to choose auto. So this is the auto replenishing. I mean, uh, the rule which is set as auto. Okay, so as you can see, the preferred route is buy and you can see order ones. Now, if you just go to operations, you have the run scheduler. There. So the ones which you have scheduled as, you know, which one will trigger automatically by using the run scheduler, you, uh, you know, an automatic, I mean, a purchase order will be automatically triggered. So I'm going to click on run scheduler. Okay, so that's done. Now, if you just go to auto, the insulin is here. Okay, we'll do one thing, go to the purchase tab and check, I mean, purchase module and check. So as you can see, here is the purchase, that is the RFQ, which is generated for deco edit. Let's open it. You can see the product here, which is insulin. So the quantity which you are going to purchase is 400. As we, as you all know, we have set the maximum quantity as 400. Okay. So that much amount of, I mean, that much quantity of the product has been ordered. That is an RFQ has been generated automatically. 
okay now let's confirm the order to a purchase order and here you can see the receipt okay open the receipt you can see the demand quantity is 400 okay now let's validate apply okay that's in done state right now now here if you open you can see the valuation okay that is the stock valuation you can see the reference the product and all let's go back uh, complete this purchase order like I'm creating a bill okay so we've not chosen an uh, you know journal here that's the reason why uh, it's not getting you know okay so we'll do one thing we'll keep it as such now you can complete that process here okay I've confirmed it to a purchase order now that's how you trigger a reordering rule uh, automatically okay now let's see how to trigger a uh, reordering rule uh, manually so for that also you have to go to the inventory module open the products choose any product so here we have the corner right desk so the on hand quantity of the product is zero okay so we'll do one thing and you have to make sure that the product type is storable okay now let's add the reordering rule for this product so I'll do one thing make the minimum quantity to 50 and the maximum quantity to 100 okay and here you have the multiple quantities so I'm setting it to 2 okay so as you can see the trigger method it's in manual itself so I'm not changing it okay we are going to trigger this reordering rule manually okay now after that we have to do the same thing which we did inside the automatic way go to operations open the replenishment you have the manual ones okay so let's remove the filters here okay so manual let's check once again so this is the product okay corner desk you can see the minimum maximum quantity and all and one more thing you have to make sure that there is a vendor for this product okay and here under the inventory you have to enable the root which is buy then you have the vendor for the product okay then you have the forecast unit I mean forecast quantity can also be seen here go to operations replenishment manual okay then so this is the one which we created right now so as this is manual you have to go and click on order once here you can't use run scheduler here okay you have to come to the replenishment and you have to click on the order once only then this rule will be triggered so I'm clicking on order once so as you can see the following replenishment order has been generated so a purchase order is generated let's go to the purchase module and check so here is the one which was created right now okay so here is the RFQ and here's the product let's confirm it so this is how uh, it triggers manually okay so that's done I'm going to receive the products and validate it okay so this is I mean I've completed the process now you can complete the process of a purchase order so this is how basically the reordering rule triggers manually and automatically okay now we can even trigger you know manufacturing order so that you need the manufacturing module so I'm going to the app store and here we have the manufacturing I'm going to activate it so basically we can replenish product using dropship and also the manufacturing order okay so the manufacturing module has come here now let's go to the inventory module open a product so here you have a demo product I'm opening that and it is in the product type storable you have to set a vendor which is Azure interior in the inventory what you have to do is enable the route which is manufacture okay so the manufacturing route is enabled here you have the you know option to set reordering rules so here I'm setting the minimum quantity to 50 sorry 40 and here I'm, I'll set it to 
100. Okay, so that is done. Now let's save this thing. Okay, so one more thing we have to, I mean, I have to set it as the triggering as auto. So I'll put trigger here, multiple quantity also. And the trigger method, I'm setting it to auto. So let it trigger automatically. And the multiple quantity, I'm setting it to three. Okay, so that's done. And then you have to go back to operations, replenishment. So you can see auto. This is the one. Let's go to run scheduler. Click on run scheduler. So this is been triggered. So for now, let's go to the manufacturing. You have the manufacturing orders here. So here is the manufacturing order which was created right now. So here you can see the source is replenishment report. Okay, so this is the order which was created right now for the demo product. Okay, so this is... This is how you basically, you know, perform the reordering rules and how they triggers. So you can, you know, trigger purchase orders automatically as well as manually. And then even if you want to create or, you know, trigger a manufacturing order, you can do that as well using the reordering rules. So here you have a connection, which is the reordering rules, the replenishment and the run scheduler. Okay. If the triggering method is automatic, then you need the run scheduler. And if it's, you know, manual means you have to go to the replenishment inside and then you have to click on order once. After that, a purchase order will be triggered. It's all about the reordering rules. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.